Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of A Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the I'm sticks, the sticky boy. and we're playing Madden 20 with them Cleveland Browns, oh, though. Oh my god, it's it's covered in chocolate. Ooh, wait, whoa. It's a brownie. <laughs> we are a brownie. I haven't had a good brownie in a long time, man. Well, the brownies that I made at Thanksgiving were good. Do you have one of them? Remember I made a oh, whole... Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I did. Yeah, yeah with chocolate did. frosting. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so... remember what we ate for Thanksgiving. Because <laughs> it's the last time I made brownies. Was like I was actually... Days uh, ago. Oddly enough, I was just talking about making brownies the other day. And I was like, when did I make... And I had to think about it. And it was things. Well, so, it's how it all comes full circle here. I know, right? Because now it, we're talking about brownies. Yep, exactly. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. I don't know why they call them brownies. Do you know what a brownie is? Because it's like that little mythical crate. I think so, like the elf. Like. Uh, oh yeah, it is like another name yeah, for it. Yeah, because like the the Browns have that unofficial logo. It's a little elf guy that I hate. I hate that logo so much. I hate it so much. Oh, why? I don't know. I just do. I would never <laughs> buy a hat with that logo on it because I just hate uh, the logo. I see, and I have one. Like, that's it. great. I don't question anyone else for wearing it i just for some reason <laughs> hate the gd logo i don't know why i didn't think you thought less of me because of what i chose to wear but thank you for acknowledging for, for it verifying yeah. that i don't all right cool you're right i was real concerned there for a little bit <laughs> You're like, I wonder if Jonas hates me. Spin outfits. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would Jonas like today? Hoping that I approve. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny. Oh, and then you come out and I'm like, oh. <laughs> you just meet for another hour. I, and you know, it's been a long time since I've like tried on outfits for an event. Like, yeah, just didn't just like grab something and wear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think usually. Yeah, usually I just like go in here. I'm like, oh, it, it, I got. I usually what I decide is like, am I wearing a button up or am I, or am I wearing a t-shirt? Yeah, that's like the yep. only thing I decide, and then yep. then I just throw something on. Yeah, dress up. I haven't been to church. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, mom. I don't. I just got yeah, because an avid listener. <laughs> no, she wouldn't have crap. She did call you when she was here though too about church oh yeah i know it i know <laughs> it was like within the first like six hours she was here <laughs> it's funny because she knew my last church experience was like to a church that she wouldn't necessarily agree with she'd be mortified oh oh yeah yeah she said you went to like one of the uh you tried out some other churches just to check them out yeah dude i wanted to see what like other religions were about and stuff yeah so i've been i haven't been to a, like a jewish synagogue or a Muslim uh, mosque. mosque. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would, you know, and like we talked about this, like I think I would like to like just go check out for a service of random religions just to see. See if anything clicks. Just to see, yeah, or see what it is. Or just, are you just looking to join up? <laughs> looking to join up. But no, I got enough going on. <laughs> I can't be doing church. <laughs> I can't be worried about my soul right now. All right? I, I got too much ish going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go make a sheep shank, you know. <laughs> a sheep shank. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a knot? I don't know. I, I thought that was a shiv. <laughs> what? A sheep shank. What? <laughs> no. Shank is a knot. Oh, man. nice, nice subtle, subtle like <laughs> subtle jab to your Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> My Boy Scout abilities. <laughs> Have you ever met anybody in the Boy Scouts? Uh, Girl Scouts are out here popping. They're actually also called brownies. Oh, da, 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 comes full circle. That's not even wrong. <laughs> there, there might be a separate division of the Girl Scouts. Um, when I was a kid, one time my dad took me to a Boy Scout meeting, yeah. like just to go. Yeah, I was young. I was probably like I don't know, like seven or something, maybe a little older. Yeah, and like we both went, and like we both like decided like. <laughs> we didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> See, now that's love right there. <laughs> Your dad loved you too much. So he did He wasn't like, let's keep doing it. He didn't force me to do it. <laughs> He's like, you want to do that? I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Sounds like, I mean, making a, a model car would be kind of cool. Can we just do that at home instead of with a group of guys we don't know? I, I mean, but honestly, yeah, man. Boy Scouts aren't popping as much as the, uh, the Girl Scouts. No, man. Are. They don't have Boy Scout cookies. No. Everybody knows Girl Scout cookies. Exactly, man. They have Boy Scout popcorn, and that dish is good, too. It's like gourmet popcorn. They have Boy Scout popcorn. Dude, it's called Nature's Trail. 
It is like, it's microwavable popcorn. It is, it blows over Orville Redenbacher out the water. Are you serious? 100%. I had no and idea. And they sell big old boxes like the Girl Scout sell cookies. Really? Uh -huh. It comes with like 12 packs or 18 packs or something. 18 packs of popcorn? So, like, that's like, it's like a book bag full of popcorn. Who the fudge needs all that GD popcorn, <laughs> Jonas? That's how they get you, man. Well, that's, the, no, that's how they get you to pay $30 for a box of popcorn. I'm not paying that for popcorn. <laughs> They're like, here, but you get 30 packs. No. And you're like, what? I don't. I eat once a year. Yo, they need to, they need to work on the packaging of that, man. I I'm, can understand it's probably not cost effective because they ain't banking like the Girl Scouts with their cookies. Yeah, right. They should just they should just make cookies. Let me okay. I got an Let idea. me ask you a quick Go question. Ahead. Go ahead. I think okay. So, oh, F, dude, <laughs> I just want your opinion on how you feel about this. Uh -huh. So for years, yeah, you know, I mean, got decades, I should say. The Girl Scouts have certain cookies that like you couldn't get in the stores, like those those caramel ones. Like all well, of them. It, yeah, like most of them. Yeah, I mean, they have some that are similar, but so about uh, maybe. Within the last five years, mm -hmm. six years, maybe maybe longer, I've, I've noticed going, if you go to, like, Dollar General, they have rip-off Girl Scout cookies no, they that they sell all year round in Do the they store. Really? Are they? It, it's like the, the coconut, the ones I'm thinking of are the Caramel Delights. Yeah. The, the ones that have the coconut shit, the, the, the baked coconut and the caramel, and it's like has a hole in the center of the cookie. Yeah, and those aren't bad, too. Those are, yeah, those are good. Yeah. And people, I know, always are like, man, I wish I could get these all year round. Well, like, Dollar General's like, oh, we'll just make some. We'll call them, like, coconut fun. What are, what, isn't that, like, ripoff from the Girl Scouts? Well, I don't know if the Girl Scouts originated that type of cookie. I think they just popularized it, more or less. Yeah, I don't know if they, like. It's kind of ishy of uh, Dollar General. <laughs> Make some cookies? I don't know, man. I kind of feel like it's a good idea. You gonna make some cookies? I'm not selling? making any cookies. I'm not selling cookies. But have you had sell that cookie? Have, you know, I'm not selling my cookie either, Jonas. You sicko. This is my body, and I'd appreciate it if you respect my temple. <laughs> have you tried the, the rip off cookies? Oh yeah. Are they nearly oh, as good? They're good. Yeah. They're dude. Good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're good. <laughs> I feel like they're just as good as the Oh, real they're, so, they're maybe not quite as good. They taste a little stale, but everything in Dollar General <laughs> tastes a little stale. Ew, right? <laughs> like everything out of jo Dollar General Big Lots. <laughs> it all tastes a little. <laughs> it, everything it, is stale. Is it just like a stereotype that you feel it's like secondhand? Or something no. like it's just pushing its expiration no. date? Because <laughs> the moment you walk in, you can just tell like ventilation ain't as good. <laughs> The lighting's just a little bit dimmer than it would be. Yeah, like one of the in the bulb in the corner of the store is flickering. Right? Like you stay in there too long, someone's gonna come up and try to shank you. Yeah, like you wouldn't be surprised if you like picked up something and silverfish ran from underneath it or something. You'd just be like, yeah, yeah it's, good. <laughs> it's cool. I asked for it. Yeah, I came to Dollar General, dude. I love going to the dollar store though. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, there is something about dollar stores, man, and that, those aren't even dollar stores because. They used to have like all for one. You remember all yeah, for well, one everyone here Dollar Tree. But is that like a real? It, dollar it's all, everything's a dollar or less. Okay. They don't. Right. It's not a. Uh, it's not like one of those like dollar store. And then it's like, but we have some stuff that's like five dollars. Yeah. No, it's, it's a true dollar store. Huh. Yeah, it's it's over in the same plaza where Dollar General. Well, dollar General closed now, but. <gasps> oh, you know what else I meant to tell you? What I gotta that tell is? you. I'll tell you on camera that H E B. The the hood H E B that's super small that like has like the gold chains in it. And stuff. Yeah, it's closing. Oh, they're because opening they're opening the big one, one down the road. Yeah, like uh, the big one's opening. I think at the end of March, and that one's closing at the beginning of April, like a ten day oh, window or something. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, but that was, I just want to tell you before you like ran over there to get. Oh, you don't go to H E B. I don't go to H E B no. Yeah, I but uh, I read that. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool because I hate H E B. It's like I don't even like going there. They don't have what I need most of the time. It's just like, but I'm going to start going to that big one down the road. It's going to be nice. Yeah, like well, drive through barbecue joint in it and stuff. Everybody's going to be there. Yeah. I'll go at nighttime. <laughs> nighttime is the right time. I'm not going to give any more information so that people can triangulate our where we are and then come and kill us. Yes. It's a possibility. Are Jordan. they? You never know. Old Torf in Congress. What happens if we do take off, Jonas? Because I feel the storms are brewing. Oh, yeah? You There's feel been a rumbling in the, in the subs. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we take off and then somebody like starts scrubbing the old files. <laughs> Watches season eight, episode week week twelve of the Brown Strange. By my calculations, Jonas and <laughs> TNT Dynamite are at latitude to twenty seven thirty six. <laughs> From the times that they've accidentally said each other's names on the... Uh, they, put, they put that on 4chan, they'll figure it out. Exactly. <laughs> they will, they will you figure out where these two jerk-offs live. Well, at least at least it's the Crazy Town compound and we're protected. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking about this the other day, Jonas. Uh, yeah? About, like, how famous people will, like, say something that people don't agree with, and then they feel the need to, like, walk it back. And I was like, to the average person, like, uh, let's just use, for example, the ish that uh, that Gail Kim, that, that, the whole controversy with Gail Kim. Gail and, Kim. Uh, Gail Kim. Not familiar with this? Wow, Jonas. Do you, I don't know if you live on the same planet as us sometimes. <laughs> Wait, dude. All right, so Gail Kim had a ABC, like, uh, interview she did with Lisa Leslie, and she brought up Kobe Bryant because Lisa Leslie, or because Kobe Bryant had just made a donation to the WNBA, and he was going to start being more involved with it. His daughter played uh, basketball as well. Oh, he was going to start being more involved with the WNBA. Okay, exactly. that makes sense. All right, so she asked him about his charge that came up. But she asked was, Lisa Leslie about it? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. it was like right after man had died. So a lot of people were not happy that she would bring this ish up. He's not. I mean, if he already was acquitted, it did, nothing happened. He didn't even go to trial. But regardless, right. a lot of people were angry. Okay. And I, okay. And it's like, it's like uh, the face in his name, like right after he died, essentially. Exactly. So it was like a lot of controversy. Snoop Dogg said some things, whatever. Okay. But uh, she felt the need to walk it back. But it, it was only like a segment of the whole entire interview. She felt the need to walk it back. I was like, do I really want to be to the point where I feel like I need to walk stuff back? But then I started thinking, like, yeah, I didn't really like what she said, but I don't care. The problem is nowadays, if you do anything, someone, some, if you're famous and you say something kind of ignorant or just yeah. not unthoughtful, I guess, or whatever, um, like... Peep, somebody's gonna like vendetta against you, and like, and that's the and, and that's that it. that's the real problem. Is like it's count, she, uh, cancel culture. It, it, well, there's that, but it was also like the point where she was like, "I'm receiving death threats." Yeah, like that's like people. I'm, like, I'm you, like, if it gets to that point, like you you literally have to watch what you say because you're exposed to so many people that somebody could. Pull, like, right, some crazy person would be like, I'm going to kill you because you said, if, yeah. if you're going to kill someone over something like that, you're crazy. What was <laughs> the movie? The uh, Was it Serpico? 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 Was that? I've was, never seen Serpico. With was, Al Pacino? Yeah, He's it was it. one of those movies. The one where the guy falls in love with the underage girl or something and then he kills her or something. Isn't that right? I don't know. I've never seen Serpico. All right. Well, who did that? Scorsese. It's a Scorsese movie. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's the very premise of that. Like... You were exposed to so many people that somebody is going to get like this unhinged kind of infatuation with you, and then you say something crazy, and then they are the ones you got to watch out for. But right. normal people, like I heard what she said, I was like, oh, that's effed up. I guess I don't F with her, so what? You know? She don't really have to worry about me, but there's going to be one out of yeah. that yeah, million. Yeah, man, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, and so it's maybe the that's it's so walking like the back. walking it back is like going out of your way to like apologize for it. Is that what you what yeah. walking it back is essentially? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and like I feel like you know we like everyone has said some stupid ish out their mouth at some point in their life. They probably like oh I didn't mean for that to come out or didn't mean it the way it was said or didn't think about what they were saying. Not necessarily like hurtful. Yeah. yeah but yeah. like we've all said something stupid, been like oh was that really the best thing to say right now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, but like to be like. To be so afraid of like losing your whole livelihood over one no. misspeak is like but then, terrifying. But dude. then it's not even genuine, though. It's not like I feel bad that I hurt your feelings. It's that I feel bad because oh, you're gonna take my buddy. I feel bad that you, you didn't like what I said. <laughs> like that's essentially what it, it is. It ain't even that. It's literally I feel bad because I want my money. So could you please uh, forgive me so that I can continue making money off of you and everybody else? Yeah. yeah that's please thing. like me. Yeah, it's essentially like they're begging, to, begging to keep like money. Yeah, please like, please me. let me keep paying, getting paid. 
<laughs> don't stop liking me, please. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be at that point, you know. So I want to be able to like speak my mind, you know. Yeah. Like I can say whatever I want to right now you over really this could. video. I can say whatever I want, Joe. You know how much effect it would have on my livelihood? None. None. Yeah. None. I feel you. That's why we're on here saying a fool. Go back and watch every episode. Hear all the crazy ish we say. <laughs> every single episode. Once you've done None. that, if you've watched every episode. Wow. And prove to me that you've watched every episode what somehow. The? Wow, Joe. What is I'll this give you five dollars. What is this mission that you're sending this person on? <laughs> you're gonna make them watch all two thousand hours. Two thousand videos. Two thousand videos. <laughs> it's like it's like a thousand hours of us talking. If you're still alive because you haven't died from boredom. That's crazy. I did not realize we had that much stuff, man. That's a lot. It's yeah, months. yeah, we got, we got a would, lot of stuff going on. It would take months for you to yeah, watch Yeah, I think everything. we... Well, I was talking to you about the other day. I think, it, I think it's like we have over a full month of content. Yep. So, like, it would take 30 days listening to us 24 hours a day to get through everything that we have. Yep, and nobody loves us. <laughs> you have no idea how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> the truth behind that is so real. See, but you know what? I, we were, I refuse to sell out. What do you know you don't? You would sell out in a minute. No, dude. I'm not gonna like go around filating everybody in in, in in chat just to like get our numbers up. <laughs> oh, I got you. I, I was like you said numerous times that you would sell out. Oh, no, well yeah. For an for for an investor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you're investing, yes, I'm selling out right now. Daddy Jones's love beads. They're my favorite. But, you know, you got to like our no-nonsense nature of the program here, you know? We don't have any nonsense. Dude. Yeah, this is a show. This is art right here that we're putting uh, down. I, that's why I do it. I need a creative outlet. <laughs> like this is creative. <laughs> this is creative for you. Oh, I'm sorry oh, no. that that's your definition <laughs> of creative. No, it's cool, dude. Oh, oh. I'm trying to tell you, Jones. We need to get this CD jumping. We get the this, this is the thing. We take the rap game by storm. Okay. Well, because we're gonna come in like a whirlwind. Yeah, dude. As soon as we put it up on on uh, Spotify, Spoofy, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. Boom. Oh my God, we're out of here, fam. We're out of here. Yeah, we're gonna I take can... off like a jet. Exactly. Ooh, are we flying? No, that's just TNT Dynamite and Jonas taking off. Dang right. <laughs> You're going to hear the sonic boom. as the B-52 that is the I'm gonna crazy channel. I'm going to finish uploading. Yeah. It's going to say upload complete, and my bank account's going to have a million dollars in it. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Jay-Z's going to be on the phone immediately. I just heard, did I just feel you upload a song to the internet? <laughs> Yo, I heard y'all I'm like, uploading. how'd you get my number? He's like, I got ways. <laughs> He's like, I always knew I was just waiting for the day. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching your account. <laughs> I've been watching you for years. <laughs> hoping you put out a rap. <laughs> like, yo, these dudes need to drop an album. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you. I want you to do it on your own. <laughs> oh, shit. We're stupid. All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe. If you've already done that, tell Jay-Z to hit us up because yeah, we're ready. Right? For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are out there.